Now the next instrument that we are going to talk about is a hot plate with a magnetic steer. Now this type of instruments are mostly been used in food analysis when we have to extract any food sample and also sometimes in order to just have a steering effect or mixing any sample then also we can make use of this type of instrument. Now talking about its uh, operation, so if you see in the operation panel or the control panel uh, you, you have these two knobs or two regulators one is for temperature and other one is for increasing the speed that is for the rotation. So, as the name suggests, uh, it is a hot plate with magnetic steerer. So, as the name suggests, it is having a plate which can be heated. Okay. So, for that reason, you have a uh, controller which can control the temperature. Apart from that, you have uh, this uh, regulator which is for speed. So, that uh, the, the, the like the steering effect you can have in the sample that you are keeping in this uh, instrument. So, now let me show you how it operates. So, first thing is it is having a switch. So, once you turn on, so you will see that this display unit is getting turned. So, once it turns on, so you will know that the instrument is in a condition to use now. Now, whatever the temperature uh, or like the treatment that you want to give that temperature you can set by this regulator, the temperature of the thermocontroller. So, once it comes to red that means the heating is on now. If you do not want the heating to be there, if you just want the extract or the mixing only at room temperature then you can just turn it off. So, once you turn it off you will see there is no indicator, the red light indicator will not be there. Now, the second thing is the steering effect. So, for the steering effect you, ha you have this uh, speed regulator. Okay, So, once you increase the speed, the speed in terms of rotation per minute. So, once you increase the speed, you can see what is the RPM, it will be displayed in this display panel. Right? Now, to talk about what speed, I mean uh, what is that thing which has, which can be increased, uh, I mean the speed that can be increased. So, for that now since it is a magnetic steerer, so obviously there will be a magnet bar. Okay, so, now in this instrument along with the motor, um, I am not sure if it is visible here along with the motor one shaft is being attached. So, that shaft is a magnet bar. So, once you turn it on that keeps on rotating. Okay, so, that when it completes one rotation then the speed will be one rotation that is in one minute. Okay, so, how many rotation it is taking in one minute that will be uh, like uh, that will be controlled with this speed controller. Now, talking about keeping the sample. So, uh, now suppose if you have uh, any sample or food sample from which you want to extract any component. So, so for example, say you want to extract um, anthocyanin. So, what you have to do is you have to take the food sample in any beaker and in that you have to take the solvent in which you want to extract. Okay, so, once you have taken it, so you have to keep it on the plate. Now, uh, maybe you do not need that time the temperature to set up. If you want the temperature, you can just regulate with this knob the temperature controller. If you do not want, you can just keep it off and just increase the speed. Now, before increasing the speed, you have to remember that you have to keep one magnet bar. Okay, so, this is what we call it as magnet bar, the white one, sorry, the magnet bead. So, this is the magnet bead. So, which you once you keep it in, in this you have to keep this uh, magnet bead in the sample itself, in the beaker itself you have to keep it. Now, once you put it and once you increase the speed, now as we have said there is one magnet bar which is working which is there present in the in, uh, in like uh, down this uh, plate. So, that uh, magnet bar along with the motor will keep on rotating. Now, that magnet bar when it rotates the bead which is there on top. I mean uh, in this uh, like uh, uh, glass beaker that will also rotate along with the bar which is present inside. Okay, so, I will just show you for an example this bead which I have in my hand, I will just put it in this flask, I mean in this beaker. So, once I have put it, I have to just increase the speed of that. So, once I increase the speed, okay, you can see this bar is moving now, I mean this bead is moving now and that is moving because inside along with the motor whatever the magnet bar was there that is moving. So, so, that bar it is like uh, just having a coordination with this bead that you have kept inside. Now, as you increase the speed, you will see that one steering effect in, in this uh, like sample or in this beaker that you have placed. Now, uh, sometimes for having the extraction the like as, as I was saying about having the anthocyanin extraction. So, what you can do is uh, like uh, depending on how much time again you want to ha have the extraction. So, mostly you can even keep it for overnight if you want to have the extraction properly. So, you just uh, like uh, keep the food sample, take the solvent, close it properly so that your solvent does not get uh, like uh, evaporated. So, or uh, 
yeah so close it properly with the aluminium foil and then you can just at your desired rpm you can set if required you can set the uh, like temperature and you can just leave it overnight the next day and you can see that uh, the sample food sample is been completely i mean it has completely released the uh, pr uh, components that is present in the food sample now one more thing that you have to keep in mind is the placement of this beaker or also the choice of the beaker now make sure that because it is having a steering effect you see that the beaker that you have taken uh, and the sample that you are pouring inside in the beaker that uh, doesn't spill okay so the size of the beaker should be little bigger than uh, i mean in comparison to the solvent or the sample that you are keeping for steering now the other thing is you have to always make sure that you are keeping it on center in order to have uh, a better steering effect now i'll i'll make you have a close look so that you understand how the steering is uh, like uh, steering effect it is giving in the sample okay so when you take the sample and you keep, uh, take the solvent and keep it overnight because of the steering effect whatever the uh, like components that is present in the food it will get extracted in the outer solvent now i'll just let you have a close look okay now so now you can see the bead which is there in the glass beaker is moving because you have set the rpm so now depending if you suppose if you increase the rpm you see the steering effect will also increase okay you can see the steering effect that is increasing so more the rpm in more speed it will rotate now you have to make sure that if you are increasing the speed and what is the size of the beaker because otherwise your solvent or the sample that you have kept in might spill out okay so this is how you can get the extract